Plans to allow scientists to create embryos that are part human and part animal are set for approval by the official regulator in Britain. These hybrid embryos are seen by the country's leading scientists as a vital step in the search for cures for diseases such as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. It's a highly controversial procedure and is banned in some European countries. Our medical correspondent Fergus Walsh has the story. This embryo is part mouse, part cow. In a few months, this Newcastle lab is hoping to create a human-cow hybrid. If that leaves you uneasy, the scientists here understand how you feel. It does seem a little abhorrent from a first analysis that the fact that we're mixing cow, uh, bits of cow cells with, with bits of human cells, and people would automatically think, yeah, well, OK. But what you have to understand is that we're actually using very, very little information from the cow in order to do this reprogramming idea. This is highly complex science, the creation of cytoplasmic hybrids, known as cybrid embryos. The starting point is a cow's egg, which is cut open by a laser. The DNA is sucked out. The next step is to take a human cell, perhaps from a patient with Parkinson's disease, and inject it into the egg. Now this is the crucial point at which an embryo is created, because by using an electric shock, the hybrid embryo starts growing. The cells suck